Most people who hear the word cricket probably think of an insect chirping in chorus amidst bushes under moonlit skies. Perhaps they may have even seen that vastly intricate, equal parts ponderous and fascinating sport that goes by the same name, played on lush English greens with bat and ball by gentlemen in white or coloured clothing, and enjoyed today by most countries that formed England's colonial empire of yesteryear. More than likely, however, they have played a darts game called cricket. This dart game, bar time variety of cricket, shares similarities with the real sport in that players try to amass large totals by keeping their batsmen in play. In the case of the dart game, this is represented by the relevant dartboard numbers in play, or by the taking of those numbers out of play. So before this gets confusing, let's dive into some of the details, shall we, and learn how to play. Darts Darts Bullseye Cricket Score Points In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play a game of darts called cricket. The overall object of the game is to score more points than the other team once numbers 15 through 20 and the bullseye have been closed out. Players take turns throwing three darts at the board, trying to hit 15 through 20 and the bullseye. If you hit any other number, nothing happens. Cricket requires each person to close out numbers, meaning players have to score each number 15 through 20 and the bullseye three times before the game can end. Now I'm going to show you how scoring works. With my first dart, I hit the number 2. Two is not part of the scoring for this game, so it counts for nothing. With my second dart, I hit the number 20, so I'll mark it on the whiteboard like this. I'll need to hit the number 20 an additional two times to open it up for scoring. With my third dart, I hit the number 15 in the inner ring, or a triple 15. Thus, I've essentially hit the number 15 three times. Therefore, the number is now open for me to start scoring points on. That would be the case until my opponent also hits the number three times and closes the number out for both of us. The reverse is also true. Any number my opponent opens with three strikes will be open for him to score on until I close the number also. If a player opens up a number before the other player does, that player may continue to keep scoring points on that number. For example, in the previous turn, I opened the number 15. And in my next turn, I may continue to score points on the number 15, unless my opponent closes the number 15 himself, in which case the number will be closed for both players and no longer in play. The bullseye also has to be hit three times to be opened up. Once opened, the outer ring of the bullseye counts for 25 points and the inner ring counts for 50 points. Hitting the outer ring of the bullseye counts for one strike and hitting the inner ring counts for two strikes. The number of points you receive correlates with the number you are hitting. If you hit 17, you get 17 points. 
if you hit 20, 20 points, and so on. Here we are looking at an example of a completed game. Player A and player B have closed out all of their numbers 15 through 20. Player B has managed to accumulate 500 points and player A has managed to accumulate 400 points. Therefore, player B is the winner. Player A took some time to close the number 15 where player B continued to score points on the number 15, therefore accumulating more points. And he is the winner. So there you have it. Hopefully you now know how to play. Feel free to learn more about the rules in the link we provided below. Now, when you happen to find yourself in front of the dartboard again, with some friends, try a game of cricket. And let fun and competition reign supreme as you take aim and score big totals to close out those numbers.